Well, we all know about the current GPU market and still nothing much has improved. Getting hands on a real GPU for an average gamer or editor is quite not possible. I'm using the AMD Ryzen 7 5700G APU on my system for about 3 months and would like to share my experience with this CPU plus GPU combo. Well, this video is not a gaming test. If you want to know about its gaming performance, comment down below. I would put up a dedicated gaming test video, also mention the games that you would like to see. Coming back to the point, I mainly use this for editing and coding videos and I'm very impressed with the CPU performance. I would upgrade to a dedicated GPU down the road when and if the market for GPU finally settles one fine day. Till then this might be a very good solution and let me show why. Let's start by running benchmarks and check how it scores. I have paired it with 64GB of RAM. I know that it is overkill for this setup but I did it for a different project. Two sticks of 16GB DDR4 RAM would be more than sufficient. Also the chip is not overclocked so that we can see what it is capable of in stock conditions. Now it is a 8 core 16 thread processor running at a base frequency of 3.8 GHz with boost up to 4.6 GHz and 65 watts of TDP. It is built on TSMC 7 nanometer FinFET process and it also includes a cooler in the box. Talking about the graphics, it rocks the Vega 8 with 8 core counts running at a frequency of 2 GHz. I have set the dedicated video memory to auto and the system has allocated 4 GB of my RAM to it. Considering the free available RAM on my system, I set my dedicated VRAM to 8 GB or more but for this test, I left it at auto. I will be running the user benchmark application and let's see how it performs. As we can see the CPU is outstanding but it falls short on the GPU field so definitely it is nowhere near a dedicated GPU but it's good enough to get the job done in these times. Let's throw in some Full HD and 4K footage in the video conversion apps and check how much time it takes for CPU encoding.
For a 1 minute 4K footage, the render time is about a minute, so quite impressive. I use this setup for editing 1080p videos in 1080p timeline and sometimes some 4K clips as well in the same 1080p timeline. I do not face any lags or stutters whatsoever but keep in mind I do not add much layers or grade my footage heavily. Just some minimal tweaks and little grading. It will definitely require a dedicated GPU for hardware accelerated video encoding and can reduce the output time by a lot. So that's all for this video about the quick review and my practical usage of this APU from AMD. Let me know what you would like to see in future about this chip. That being said, this is me a week signing off and catch you in the next one.